Tomorrow night, there's a Dateline special hearing here on 3 News. And as Andrew Horansky explains, it involves a mother in Eastlake and a murder for hire. I was approached to murder somebody for $50,000. Some stories are just meant for Dateline. It's like a movie script. It is a movie script. With this one unfolding in Eastlake nearly 10 years ago, when Christine Metter claimed she was abused and approached a friend to find a hitman for her husband, David Metter, the father of their four children. Instead, that friend, Pat Sabo, went to police. What we want to do is get a conversation on tape. I could not let anything happen to this man. They set up an elaborate sting with Sabo meeting Metter and her father, Al Zambori, at this restaurant in Eastlake and receiving $3,000 to find someone. An officer would pose as the hitman and later meet with them to say that he did the job, all of it on tape. Oh, I shot him in the head like you guys wanted me to do. Okay. He's done. You understand? Yeah, I understand you. Well, you know what? I gotta be this way. The investigator even showed them a doctored photo of the husband shot dead before demanding his payment from Metter's insurance policy. I want, uh, I want $100,000. When does this policy come due? Well, after they find them, okay? And that's when police swooped in. I'll have to go to jail? You're in jail. I know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a serious crime. It's a serious crime. What's happening with my children? Both Christine Metter and her father were convicted on murder conspiracy charges in a case on Thursday night that will be shared with the country. A few years ago, Zambori died in custody, while next year, Christine Metter is scheduled to be released. Her ex has since remarried and moved out of state, where he's raising their children. I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.